So one thing we oftentimes like to forget is a very simple fact that we are all connected. And as you know, as you know I'm an Aikido instructor, and as most of you know. And sometimes when people look into Aikido and people think about Aikido, they, they have a hard time to understand the whole essence of, I could say, the life-protecting sword. So what, what is meant by that is that you know, there's the sword which destroys and there's the sword which protects and saves. And actually that's very close to what uh, Aikido is. But still, when people practice um, martial arts, most martial arts are about destroying. If there's a problem, I destroy it. I either, you know, scare it away or I destroy it. And uh, Aikido is not about that. Aikido, uh, Osensei, um, the founder of Aikido oftentimes would say, you know, I am one with everything, I am the universe. So he would see himself as the part of the whole. He would say that we are all one family. But then that question arrives. If somebody attacks you, what the hell? How can you see him as part of the family? But you still have to do it. It's just, in a sense, he's in a nightmare. He doesn't understand that he's a part of the whole. But there's very simple facts. Even the fact that he has a brother, sister, a child, wife, mother, father. He's loved by someone. Somebody cares about him or he cares about someone. Uh, we're all human beings. But in that small scenario, when somebody attacks us, we tend to forget that. We tend to cut out the whole story and just see the other person as this attacker, as this monster. If we do that, then we, we're in the same nightmare too. But if you step out of the nightmare, you remember that we are all connected. We are all part of the same one big system. It's kind of a semi-joke, but sometimes I would like to say it. Maybe he's your uh, milkman. You know, he's the person who brings you milk every morning, but that day he's having a bad time and he comes to you. He wants to release his aggression towards you. And if you see him as an enemy, you destroy him. Next morning, you're surprised. You know, there's no milk. And that is actually the world we live in. We, we live in a world which is very much connected, which is all one. If there is a knot and a rope, and if you cut it out, then the rope becomes shorter. So the, the thing is, if you realize that the knot is part of the whole rope, if you untangle it, if you find a way to, to dissolve it, suddenly the, the rope is much bigger. Actually, there is a good story from, I think it's from Terry Dobson, one of the first Westerners who went to study with a sensei, with Aikido, founder of Aikido. It's a famous story where he was practicing Aikido and he was always curious, you know, how it works in the street. And he was looking forward to try it. And so he's going in the metro one day and there's this drunk person who's going from one person to the other and he's just bugging everyone. And he's thinking, oh yeah, finally he comes to me and I'm going to show I'm going to try out my kid, I'm going to show it works. But eventually, as soon as he's almost there, there's this one guy who stands up and says, man, what are you doing? What's up with you? And, and the guy, the drunken guy, starts to cry and says, ah, oh, I have a bad day, you know, my wife left me or something like that. And they, they sit down and they start to talk. And I think it was, again, Terry Dobson, he, he done, as he tells the story, he says, suddenly it dawned on him and he realized, that's Aikido. He was untangled out from a knot. He wasn't destroyed, which would have had no Im good impact. It would feel bad for the person who did it. It would feel bad for the person who was drunk. It would feel bad for everyone because we are connected. We don't care about each other. If we don't care, if we forget that we are connected and if we don't care for the whole, that's just going to start to feel bad for us. The bad thing is that I think that's what we are missing. That's what I miss myself too, of too often. You know, I forget to often myself, and that's why it's important for me to talk about that, to share, to re remind myself as much as to everyone that we are all connected. And no wonder if when we feel, when we bring ourselves out and we see other people's problems, sufferings as uh, not ours, we, s we make that distance between us and you know, leave it as their problems. That sense of separation eventually leads to desperation. Eventually, it's no surprise when we live such separate lives that we are so sad or that we feel an emptiness in our, in our lives. We're not taking care of the whole which we are a part of. So I think one of the key secrets, if we want to live a happy life, quality life, if we want to feel good, we have to accept and face the fact that we are all connected. We are all one system. As long as we will, we're going to deny it, as long as we're going to live our lives just for us, it's gonna suck and trust me I know what I say because that's how it feels to me too uh, anyway there's much more we could talk about but I'm gonna make this video short we're gonna continue in other videos in the future we're gonna look more about what it means to do Aikido in the street if you're attacked so there's many topics we're gonna still discuss as always 
just let yourself go in the comments. Let me know what you think. What's your experience? Maybe you have any questions or even if you have doubts. I always like people, if they have doubts, they tell it to me. I like to be challenged in such a way. Let's do it. Uh, on all, this was Rokas. My wife is there. She's filming me. Thank you very much for that. And yep, yeah, I'm going to see you in another video. Subscribe to keep in touch and have a good day.